Hi there, this is Stephanie from ESU 17, and um, today I will be showing you how to use the Hello Crayon app. So I'm going to start kind of typing it in here. And Hello Crayon is really one of my um, favorite apps that is free to use with students of all ages because it gives you just a really nice whiteboard that's simple and easy and has some nice images and doesn't have any branding. And so it's great to save and use, um, you know, for maybe videos or app smashing projects. It's really fun. So this is your main screen. Um, if you want to see your full screen and not see all the crayons and everything, the first button that you want to push on is kind of that rainbow grid in the top right corner. If I push on that, all my crayons disappear and I'm left with just my nice blank white screen. If I want to put my crayons back, I will just tap on that button again. So starting in the top left corner, you'll see if you wanted a new blank document, you tap on the orange uh, star button and you can choose quick erase, blank page, or coloring books. Um, so quick erase and blank page will give you some really just nice blank options. Or you can also choose if you want your students to actually color a picture, um, you can actually have them choose an image to color, which is kind of fun. So um, you next have open. This is kind of a neat tool. If you have some copyright friendly images, you can actually create your own coloring sheets or maybe you even put a worksheet in there that they have to fill out or annotate a picture or something like that. You can bring anything in from your camera roll. And finally, the last one is going to be save, which is where you can actually save it right to your photos on your iPad. So going down to the bottom to kind of see what this app offers, um, right now I have the button with the M selected and this is for crayons. And so basically it's pretty self-explanatory. I can choose whatever crayon color I want. And then when I start coloring, um, you can see that my crayon automatically, all the options disappear and I get to see my nice full screen and I can color whatever I want with my crayon. Okay, when I'm done coloring, if I want my crayons back, I just push that colorful grid in the top right. And I have some other options that I can explore that work kind of the same way. Uh, I can push on the S, with it, which is a nice black Sharpie. If I need a nice thin line, maybe I want to put my name on it. And so I want a nice thin line. Um, I have the next one is going to be markers. So you're going to have um, markers that kind of look a little bit different when you co color with them. They're kind of... Um, more watercolored looking, but if you go over them more than once, it will continually get darker, just like real crayons and markers. Next, I have my paint options. With my paint brush, I again get kind of a little bit of a different look. You can see it's kind of a little more blotty, but again, the more you color, the darker it gets and the more filled in it gets. So it just gives you a lot of control with what you want your project to look like. And finally, you have your paint bucket tool, so you can um, kind of paint a large area if you want, which is also kind of a fun option. And, you know, for kids who don't have maybe all the fine motor skills to be able to um, color back and forth in the lines, this is a really nice way that they can kind of paint inside of the lines. And last but not least, you do have your eraser tool, so you can do any sort of erasing that you need to on your project. Um, another kind of neat thing about this is I'm going to tap on my colorful icon again, and you can always undo and redo your steps. So once you're all done um, and your project is complete, you can hit the save button. And again, you can just save it right to your photo album. Um, again, this is a wonderful app. I usually don't use the coloring book feature. I usually tend to have the students create something all on their own. And they love it, it's easy to use, and it transfers well into other projects. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.